Got a partially disassembled PS5 here that does not want to do anything, so I can't get the controller to work. And the irritating thing about these is that if you can't get past this screen, you can't do much. And I'd like to know if the Wi-Fi IC is the problem. I've tried all the USB ports. There's actually one on the back that's damaged, but no matter what I connect to, controller never pairs. Can't do this wirelessly. The Wi-Fi IC must be working. You can use the cable here and it doesn't matter if there's an issue with your Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi antenna, any of that, you will not be able to set up your controller, which is just crazy to me. Anyways, um, I'll show you the port that's damaged on the back. I think we're gonna start by replacing that and hope that it's not the Wi-Fi IC that is the issue. And I will tape off this little component just to be safe. We're gonna have some hot air hitting this and we don't wanna blow that off the motherboard. I don't think it'll be an issue, but just to be safe. We don't wanna end up losing any pieces in the process. Oh, looks like we've got a couple more things we need to watch out for. This capacitor here and this little filter or a data choke over here. So I'm going to add a little more tape on this. All right, well, we got all but one, and uh, part of this, right over here, got a little solder left on it still. And this, this ground pin here, I'm surprised the other ones actually came out clean. These things can be a headache.
right, let's see if our new part will fit. And I say that because we have just a tiny bit left over on that side, but I don't think that's going to be any issue. Yep, okay, we're good there. Just need to tack this thing down so we can flip it over. And to do that, I'm just going to start on these legs here on the side. out of the camera's view. What I'm doing is just adding a tiny bit just to hold this thing. Come on. Alright, so it doesn't move around. i put a little on the other side. Okay, I think that's going to hold.
And here's what was going on in the old port. All right, let's see if that did us any good. Fingers crossed here. And looks like we still have nothing. Well, that's a bummer. I think we've got a bad Wi-Fi IC. All right, well, I guess I turned the camera off a little too early. I found a different USB to USB-C cable plugged it into our brand new port on the back. And what do you know? We are back up and running. My question is, why couldn't we sync through the USB-C cable? All right, well, we are actually seeing uh, some networks. So looks like the Wi-Fi is working. And uh, it's even got some games on here. So apparently, there was an issue with the USB connector, as far as I can tell. So, uh, we'll assume that the issue was caused by the USB-C port. In any case, that's how you can replace yours.